download our app available from the App Store and Play Store. Hello and welcome to Medical Dialogues. I'm Roshni Dhar. Let's look at today's daily bulletin. Amid the ongoing controversy regarding the medical courses run by College of Physicians and Surgeons Mumbai, the PG Medical Education Board of NMC has recommended to the Union Health Ministry for de-recognition of the courses. Writing to the Under Secretary of the Union Health Ministry, NMC PG Medical Education Board has recommended that the popular DPB Diploma in Pathology and Bacteriology DCH Diploma in Child Health and DGO Diploma Gynecology and Obstetrics courses run by CPS should be withdrawn from the next academic year. The concept of doctors talking about their salaries has never been popular in a country like India where healthcare is seen as a free service. Prioritizing patient safety and security over their own, doctors are often neglected when it comes to getting rightful salaries and quality facilities. They are often forced to work overtime for hours along with night duties with many emergency surgeries and procedures per week having a low salary which has become a current trend. It becomes even more aggravating when a person has spent between 50 lakhs to 1 crore on his medical education to get a lower salary package. The ad mentioned that the monthly salary for a clinical psychologist and a senior counsellor would be Rs 20,000 while that of a male nurse, therapist and data entry personnel would be Rs 15,000. Cook, security guard, office assistant and medical officer would be given Rs 11,000 monthly. Requirements about the qualification and number of posts vacant at the centre was also shared by the Addiction Calm Rehabilitation Centre at Lekhi Itanagar that is backed by the Arunachal Pradesh government and is affiliated with the Union Ministry of Social Justice and Empowerment. Raising the issues faced by foreign medical graduates willing to get enrolled in internship programs in India, the Delhi Medical Council has now approached the Union Health Minister Mansukh Mandavia. DMC wrote to the Union Health Minister after the FMGs were denied enrollment for internship at the centre-run medical colleges. In the letter dated May 1st, the Council informed the Minister that more than 2,000 medical graduates from abroad have applied for internship with the Council. According to the Medical Council, centre-run medical colleges like LHMC and V. MMC had previously informed the council about the availability of internship seats and based on this, the council released a merit list on 27th of April. However, when the students approached the medical colleges for admission on Monday, they were turned down by the college authorities. Women aged 55 years and younger have nearly doubled the risk of re-hospitalization in the year immediately after a heart attack compared to men of similar age, according to a recent study. Higher rates of risk factors such as obesity, heart failure and depression among women most likely contributed to the disparity. The study included 2,979 patients, 2,007 women and 972 men at 103 US hospitals. The participants were an average age of 48 years and from ethnically and racially diverse populations. Cancer patients who use cannabis to address their symptoms have less pain and sleep better according to new University of Colorado Boulder research. But they also experience another unexpected benefit. After a few weeks of sustained use, they seem to think more clearly. After a baseline appointment in which their pain levels, sleep patterns and cognitions were assessed, they were asked to purchase the edible product of their choosing from a dispensary. Choices were surprisingly varied, spanning 18 brands including chocolates, gummies, tinctures, pills and baked goods and contained varying ratios of THC and CBD at a wide range of potencies. For people with cancer, chemotherapy saves lives but for some patients, the treatment comes with a side effect, heart damage. Screening cancer drugs for cardiotoxicity has been an ongoing challenge as heart cells don't naturally grow in a dish, requiring researchers to do this critical testing using cardiac tissue from rodent models. A new study from researchers at Cummings School of Veterinary Medicine at Tufts University and Tufts Medical Center reports the heart tissue obtained through organ donations from dogs dying of other causes are a promising platform for testing cancer drug toxicity, offering scientists a new alternative. The organ donation program at Cummings School of Veterinary Medicine works the same as organ donation programs in people, with owners agreeing to donate the heart from their pet when they die of other causes in order to support research in animal and human health. A new study by investigators from Mass General Brigham in collaboration with colleagues at Boston Children's Hospital sheds new light on the role of somatic mutations in temporal lobe epilepsy or TLE, 
which is DNA alterations that occur after conception and suggests the potential of using existing cancer therapies to treat TLE that is resistant to anti-seizure medications. To uncover somatic mutations, Koshku and colleagues performed a case-controlled genetic association study analyzing DNA from brain tissue samples collected from 105 patients with epilepsy and 30 controls between 1988 and 2019. That's all for today. Stay tuned to Medical Dialogues for latest updates. Never miss a medical update from Medical Dialogues. Like, subscribe and press the bell icon.